Hey, hello guys, how are you doing? I hope great. I'm Jimmy DGS91 here, and be welcome again to my 100% walkthrough of Ultimate Doom for the PC. Play it through the Doomsday Engine source port on the Ultra Violence difficulty. So, this video is the gameplay of Episode 1 Map 4 Command Control. So, let's get to it. Alright, so here at the start you see this greenish wall right here, open it. Yep, right off the bat we have a secret to tag with a backpack, some shells and health. Alright, so let's open the door, I like to have my rocket launcher ready, just fire a single rocket right here. On those, oops, <laughs> on those zombie men and those imps, and on those kind of windows here on the upper side, I like to use the barrels. In my advantage, you kill the enemies that is coming for me from this section. Usually some imps are coming for this section, some zombie men, nothing too much. Okay, from those three rooms here, I like to start the room on the far right. This one. I kill the enemies inside this room, including two demons and a lot of hit scan enemies, so do your best here. Nothing too much difficult. Come on, thank you. Alright, this section is finally clear, so let's take this lift here on the right. But be ready, because when you go to this section right here where that barrel is, a trap will be revealed. So I like to have my rocket launcher walk backwards. And usually, one rocket takes take care of all of those guys. If not, just use your chain gun or shotgun to finish them off. Yeah, pretty nasty trap, but the secret to destroy those guys or kill those guys very easily is to aim the rocket just on the barrel in the center. Yep. Have you, there you have a mega armor. So let's go down and go up the stairs right here. Ignore this room here on the center for right now and turn left. And yep, we are here on this familiar area. So let's go to the central room right here and the only thing that this switch does right here is just to lower that lift yep fancy that let's take this lift up and turn left to grab those ammo if you need it all right you see this soul sphere here on the upper side of this window we'll get to that soul sphere later for right now let's go on this room right here on this hallway with the poison sign once you enter, try to explode the barrels to kill the imps around here, and now run to the right side, kill the zombie man, and now let's finish that those imps here across from the Nukage River. Try to explode the barrel in your advantage. Yeah, that's very cool. Imp was splatified. All right, we have some stairs here, but. If you look here to this Nukage River right here, you see there is a path leading to the right and a path leading to the left. Which path will you take? We'll take the path to the left. <coughs> to go to a secret area with a shotgunner. Nothing too much. Let's grab all of those items. A rocket launcher, some health, some ammo. And that's the soul sphere we must grab. But how to take that soul sphere? Well, you have to use this switch here to rise this lift right here. But you must be quick because this lift here only works one time. So if you miss the lift, you cannot get the soul sphere and also a secret area. So you must flip the lift, take the, flip the switch and take the lift. <laughs> that's all I mean to say. And grab the soul sphere and tag a secret area as well. Alright, so let's go through the poison sign. If eventually you miss that soul sphere, the only way to back up is to go across the slime weaver and go to the right side right here to take this lift back to the surface, I have to say. Yeah, just like that. Alright, you came to this central room right here and you must approach this central building here with doors are all over the place. So, what I like to do here is to use my chain gun to open this door because we have a lot of imps inside this room. Your objective is try to explode that barrel in the center to try to kill those imps or damage them very easily. 
inside they have the chain guns and health bonuses and the blue key but oh you're trapped inside how you exit well just fine just grab the blue key and step on this little square here to open the doors <laughs> yeah fancy that all right we are done with this section so we must find a room that has lights on the walls this one right here is where you want to go you will take the right path first right here you kill those enemies even before you have to encounter them later on oh <laughs> poor imp he was just splatified how cool all right anyone more here nope so our next destination now is to go to this blue carpet room right here kill those guys don't try to uh, Blow this barrel because we use this barrel for later on. Just a few imps, some demon, a demon, and some hit scan enemies. Now be careful because when you approach this central building here, it will reveal a trap. So I like to do here is facing the barrel, right here. Explode it to take a care of uh, the shotgunner and kill those hit scan enemies and also that imp. One thing I have to mention about this building right here, if you look here on the auto map, this piece of building here, it reminds you something, it not looks like a swastika or something like that. Well, that's because possibly this piece of building here is a reference to Wolfenstein 3D, one of the games released by ID Software before Doom was released, another successful game of the ID Software. So yeah, nice reference to Wolf 3D. Anyway, we are clear with the sections, so let's open this regular door, AQ shotgunners on the right and left, just like that. By the way, that's the uh, exit of this level. We must rise this piece of uh, landing right here to go to this secret, uh, secret to the regular exit of this map. There is the yellow door. We can't get through yet. Regardless, let's go back and now explore the left side. Oh, hello there, imp. You're there. Okay, so let's explore this side. You can use both the shotgun, the chain gun, whatever. I think the chain gun is the best choice here because we have a lot of hit scan enemies. And for some reason, the re hit scan enemies were in fighting because some of them are already dead. Oh well. Alright, so let's go through now the blue door right here to enter into some kind of maze inside this section. So what I like to do is just enter with the chain gun equipped, try to blow this barrel and kill all the whips and the demons that are coming for me eventually. Nothing too much. You can use the chainsaw here if you feel comfortable with, but I found the chain gun more safer. Alright, so now let's explore this awful maze right here. Not so awful, but it's very simple. Alright, the first part we will explore is this little passageway here on the right to grab some bullets and some health bonuses. Now we must travel one of those each alcoves right here to grab the items if you want 100% items and also kill some enemies like this imp right here and this demon. This maze isn't so difficult so make sure to grab all the items if you want 100% items. Some kind of tedious work, but not so bad at all. Alright. We have a heap here. Health bonus. There is a demon here, somewhere. Let's go to the central hallway right here. Yep. Come on. Ow! That hurt. <laughs> Okay, let's go to the other side. Yeah, you see this maze isn't so difficult if you know how to travel on it. And deliciousness. Alright, I think we have one more demon here on the 
right side. Yep. A single demon. Nothing too much. Let's grab the items right here. And now we have the yellow key. Finally. Okay, so let's press the switch. This switch will rise that section, allowing us to exit this map. Let's grab all the items right here. Open the door and flip the exit switch. Let's see if I collected everything. Yep. So let's exit. We are done. All right, folks. So that was command control. Well, what said about this map? Well, I pretty much like it. I like how this map is kind of challenging, but a very fair type of challenge. You must be the only. A uh, nerve-wracking or more difficult section of this map is that trap near the lift, near the start, when you have to fire a rocket to kill a lot of enemies. But that so isn't so difficult in how, how that trap works. One thing that I have to mention about this map that you does uh, you don't need the yellow key to finish this map because you can just jump across on the that new cage pool and where the yellow key was. And just use the regular door to exit the map. You just only need to flip the switch to exit this map. And only the blue key, I think. So yeah, that's very, very cool. Uh, I like the design of this map. It's pretty much very cool. Also, that part with the Soul Sphere is kind of tricky. Because if you aren't quick enough, you cannot uh, get that secret. And yeah, you'll be missing a secret. And also a Soul Sphere. That's... Never a good thing, but yeah, you know, overall, I pretty like this map. This map is pretty cool. So, now, regardless of those my random thoughts, so let's move to the episode one map five that is Phobos Lab. Wow, finally, we have a lab to explore. But that's for the next video, folks. So, I see you there. I'm Jimmy GGS91, and bye bye to everyone. Take care, my friends.